Give them a Thanks, Scott. Um, it's good to be here. I uh, appreciate your attention. It uh, looks like a pretty good, uh, pretty full house here and a lot of interesting things uh, to look at. Uh, just want to say a few words to Scott's invitation. Uh, most organizations that involve themselves in energy efficiency and renewable energy do so to save money, uh, primarily, but also to uh, reduce pollution, uh, reduce carbon emissions, uh, and those sorts of things. Um, while we're interested in that, in my office, that is not why we do what we do. Um, we are interested in improving the operational capability of our military forces. And the way we do that is, uh, when our forces are deployed, they have to carry everything with them that they use, the logistics training. And a lot of that logistics that they have to carry forward involves energy, primarily liquid fuel. So carrying logistics into the battlefield, as you can appreciate, is expensive and is dangerous. Uh, battlefields are not friendly places to go. So by improving energy efficiency and by employing renewable energy, we can improve the, the operational reach of our military forces. So we are disconnected, if you will, from the cost of electricity that you get from the grid. So the good news is, in order for us to be interested in what you do, you don't have to be competitive with grid power. Uh, so just imagine, for example, soldiers that go forward uh, on foot patrols carrying with them anywhere from 10 to 18 pounds of batteries. It's a lot of batteries. So if we can get rid of batteries, they can carry, you know, one use batteries and carry renewable or chargeable batteries, that reduces the amount of stuff they have to carry. But they got to charge the batteries, so they have to be carrying little generators with them and they have to get supply trucks every once in a while. So if we can supply them with, for example, um, flexible, thin film solar panels that they can carry on their rucksacks, and they can recharge these batteries using those, this expands their operational reach. They don't have to hit the supply truck every few days. The bad guys don't know where they are because they're not hitting the supply trucks. Supply trucks are easy to find in the battlefield. It gives them more time away from the field trucks, more time doing their job, and it reduces the amount of stuff they got to carry. This is an example of operational reach. So you can appreciate that we're willing to spend a lot of money for solar panels that meet the needs of the war fighter. But it's a different market. Uh, anything we deploy forward uh, for operations has to be rugged. It's got to be able to get kicked off the back of a truck. It's got to be able to be airlifted, airdropped from a C-130 or a helicopter. It's got to be easy to put together. Uh, it's got to be simple. It's got to be robust. Uh, and it has to be very easy. So we tend to be less interested in how much, how many dollars per watt or watts per dollar this thing can produce. We're interested more in how much power per pound or how much power per cube we get out of these things because that's the value of logistics training. How much does it weigh? How big is it? How hard is it to get there? So the more efficiency you can pack, the more power yield you can pack into that small package, the more interested we are.